Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is MetaMath, and today we're going to learn about adding positive and negative numbers, and we want to find each sum. So if I was given this expression, 2.489 plus a negative 4.3. Well, the first thing I learn about here, or I think about, is, is my final answer going to be positive or negative? In this case, it's going to be negative. Negative 4.3 has more weight than two positive 2.489. I think it was like a tug of war a line, um, around zero, and if the negative is, is larger, it's going to be on the negative side when we bring them together, and then the, the positive is larger, it's going to be on the positive side. But in this case, the negative is larger, so my final answer is going to be negative. Now, to do this traditionally, um, the way I do it, okay, and it might be different than what your teachers teach you, to be honest, is I write it like this. And I will have my 4.3, and I will subtract from 4.3, 2.489. But I know that whatever my final answer is in this case, okay, um, I'm going to have to make it negative. So the way it's set up here, it's going to be positive. I'm going to rearrange it to be negative at the end. But I'm doing this, taking the 4.3 kind of, and subtracting the 2.489 from it. Well, I take my place values, 0 and 0 here. And of course... I can't do the zero subtract not while using this method. So I kind of have to bring over that three, so that becomes a two, nine, ten. There we go. And so now, um, and that reason was nine is that if I made it a ten and then bring one over, but anyway, uh, ten minus nine is just one. Nine minus eight is also one. And well, two minus four, I can't do that one. So let's grab another one here. Uh, put a three up there. Make that a 12. Now I have 12 minus 4, which is 8. And we have 3 minus 2, which is 1. And we need to make that negative as our final answer, negative 1.811. And there is my final answer. So again, let's recap. I saw that it was 2.489 plus negative 4.3. Negative 4.3 had more weight. And so I know my final answer is going to be negative. But using this a method here, I had to put the... Um, the large number for us, the 4.300, added the zeros, place values for the other number, and subtracted 2.489 from it, knowing that my final answer in this case will be positive, but I'll have to remake that to be negative over there. So I brought over the place values, the 3, I um, made a 2, the 9, and the 1, 1, 0. So 10 minus 9 became 1, and then I had 9 minus 8 was 1. I had to cross off the 4, make that 3, bring over that 1 value. So I have 12 minus 4, which is 8. 3 minus 2 is 1. I have 1.811 as my final answer, but I need to make that negative, and my ne final, final answer is negative 